who am I? You know, my, my notes have turned to I am's all over the all over the place and, and, and there's some days they're they're different. You know, I like, looked at what does thou get some notes ready for this. I am a breath of the universe, you know. Mm. It is it just there's so much that we are and there's more and thank you for having me here to share that. And there's so much, it. you know, you do get lost going back to the video that, that you recently posted where you're so into it. And now that I have a, a, some time and I'm, I'm on Discord a lot and sometimes you get lost or even if you lose your cell phone or leave it home for a day, you come back and you miss 50 messages and because you know why you didn't have your phone. You're going through changes that you don't understand what's going on until you come back in and say, okay, I'm grounded again. This is, this is not just me. This is what's happening in the world. And you see it out there. Mm -hmm. And I was really, sh I didn't, I wasn't say void. Like NJ put it very well. Everybody responded very well. You put it very well. I was just like, I, not that I didn't want to meditate or didn't want to bring in any love or joy. It was just like, okay, I know it's there. Okay. I know it's, I don't have it now. I, I know it's there. I know love's there. I know all this fun stuff. I know the videos are there and everybody's talking around me and it's all going on in the background. I had a great vision and I don't dream that much lately. And that's kind of interesting. And we know my story a little bit, but, and this guy, it was just a man, just a, I'm looking at him, no clothes, but just look like me, no beard, but just beat up from a battle and ready for a freak another one. And it was intense. And I just was like, what the hell was that? And I don't get those intense visions. And that just happened like yesterday. And I was just like, you know, it just resonates with you because that's what I feel like right now. And that's what we're going through. And I'm ready and it loves the answer. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love everything you're sharing here. And this is beautiful Gregory. For anyone who's new to this space, new to this channel, this is Gregory. And those who have been here for a while, you know Gregory. And many of you are in a pod of light with Gregory. So our eternal light within pod led by Holly. Many of you know her as well. Some of you met her in Los Angeles. She came with me to the Conscious Life Expo. And so some of you met her there as well. But Gregory is part of our uh, Cosmo family of light, which is a free community and you're all welcome to join. Uh, we do, uh, we welcome everyone. We offer a space uh, that is a safe space, a loving space, a caring space, and an activating space, I would say as well. It helps activate the remembrance of who we are because uh, we're ever expanding. And so it, Gregory's also talking about a lot of the shifts that we're feeling right now because they've upticked, right? They've upticked. And uh, many of us have been having these spaces um, maybe more spread out, you know, you have an experience and then you go six, nine months and your life seems pretty normal ish. And then you have another one, but right now it's like one right after another, right? And, and you have so many people coming in with confirmations of those same type of spaces for themselves as well. And everybody's registering it differently. We talked about that in the videos that Gregory was mentioning that are on the YouTube channel here. Uh, but every single registered space is valuable because it is a connection point to the collective. So the general whole space of human consciousness has all these representative points, if you will, of the way in which each of us is uh, experiencing and then processing. And so when you had that vision where you saw uh, basically yourself, but naked and beat up and so forth like that, and it felt, I'm guessing by your words, it felt very vivid, like intense to you. And we talk about that in this space as well, these videos lately and in the chat spaces on Discord. These are the end times. 
these are the end times. And what does that mean? You know, like there's a lot behind those words, right? But there's a verse uh, actually in the Bible about in the end times that uh, many will have dreams and have visions and knowings. Um, and it may not be something that was a commonality for them prior, but now all of a sudden they are. And that is a sign of the end times. We have a lot of other signs uh, available to us, but that's one of them that we've been kind of focusing on a little bit lately because a lot of people, especially in even the eternal light within pod, and we have three pods of light, but in Gregory's pod, um, some have written in, multiple people have written in with dreams and visions that have been extremely vivid and intense. And some of them have been kind of dark or dense or heavy or scary. And so they want to know, like, why would I see this if I'm love and light, you know, and if I've chosen to be this higher space of myself and to nurture it and to allow it, why would I see this, you know? And so there's a lot of different reasons. Absolutely. There's multiple reasons we could touch on, but I'd like to look at one with you, Gregory, here and get your feedback as well. And that is that um, we are uh, intercessors. Yes, we are. And I yell yes sometimes. That's just what I do. It's okay. It's just energy rising, a confirmation coming from the divine, if you will. So we're intercessors. And we, each individual one who is in resonance with what I'm talking about, it makes sense to you. It feels right to you. We are like uh, filtration systems for energy. Isn't that a cool way to look at it, right? We're filtration mm -hmm. systems. We're like filters. And so for a very long time, every time we had a bad dream or a weird dream or a weird vision or whatever, you know, we, we can tend to go to fear, right? We can tend to go to, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Am I seeing blah, blah, blah. And, uh, am I, you know, connecting with negative energy and it's making me have a bad dream. Um, whatever, you know, the mind wants to do with it. Yes. Um, and sometimes we even can have just the sensation of the density, right? So I was talking about feeling like everything was on pause and the energy felt weird and it wasn't easy. And at first I felt like, what was wrong? Like, did I do something wrong? Did I eat too much sugar? <laughs> Were my hormones out of whack? Like I was feeling this weirdness, you know, this kind of like anxiousness in the being and energy was off. And, but we do that because that's how we've lived for so long. So if anybody's experiencing this and they're like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The energy's making me feel like, uh. um, here's the thing we're here to share today more than anything else. If you take nothing else away from this conversation we're having here today, please consider taking this with you. You're whole. I'm whole. We're well. We're we're healed. We're not necessarily continuing to dig up everything that's ever been done to us or happened to us in this life and every other one we've ever had and have to clear ourselves continually and heal ourselves continually. We're being asked, if you resonate with this space, we're being asked to allow ourselves to understand we're feeling the energy of the collective. Yes, we're feeling the energy of the shift itself, because when you take a species and you have a new earth coming in, that means you are leaving an old one. And so the space of transition that you move through is very different energy that you will feel. If you are a person who registers energy and those that find their way here are, you're going to have dreams, you're going to have visions, you're going to have knowings, you're going to have sensations, you're going to have a day that you're going to be like, or several where you feel like oh, I can't wait for this to pass. Believe me, I said it all weekend. Um, you just really got to lean in. You really got to love yourself. You really got to trust yourself. You got to trust that the divine is within you and all around you and lean into that talk. That's called prayer but it can be actually allowed at an even higher level of your being than you've ever done it before, because you can come in at any way you choose, absolutely. But you can also, one available space is to come in knowing that you are one with the divine. You're never separate. So when you're talking and you're saying, okay, this feels like crap. <laughs> this feels off, this feels big, this feels scary. I just had a weird vision. I just had a horrible dream. Yes, then you take a moment and you breathe and you say, I am grateful, yes, that I am one with the divine. Yes, and you just allow that space for a minute. Really lean into, I am grateful. What does that feel like? It doesn't feel like you wanna run and hide in a closet. It feels like a surge of energy that 
reminds you you're safe. Yes, a surge of energy that reminds you you are loved because you are directing your flow. You are the filter of that energy. So that that density that's happening as we're shifting, <laughs> you're registering it. And because you came to be this space of you, you're designed for it. You know how to do it. You're just remembering. Yes, through your trust. Yes. And as you lean in and you say, I am grateful that I am a part of the divine. Yes. As you do that space, then that energy that you're feeling, that you're filtering, gets to be blessed by that divine. Yes, it flows through you to that space that you're feeling that is playing out that humanity is shifting through. And this is how we are ascending. <sighs> the energy work we do a cosmic quantum energy assists with this. The Acosma family of light. Gregory mentioned the well grid. said. That's a cool yes. little one. Oh boy. <laughs> Gregory, you mentioned the grid. We do that once a month. We do that at the end of every month on the last Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. You've been with us for quite some time now in the grid. And uh, have you felt it even? The grid has and much, changed? What changed? Yes. Yes, I have. And it's it goes back to your wholeness. You know, your grid takes you back to you are your one within the many but you when you're following the whole parallel a cosma you know you also realize when you're being grateful that you know you're being grateful for a reason you are a servant to the most high and that most high is you look at it in the mirror every day and it's it's you you be grateful and what can i do and a cosma lets you like you can't sit home and keep this boxed in you know, and I love the Christ consciousness aspect of a, a Cosma and the, the Buddha, but, and the, the, the sit in love and a Cosma makes you, has you go out and share that joy. And it's, you are doing, and you, it just, when, when those energies change and they're, they're always for the good. And we realize we chose to do this. We are here for a reason. We are, we are, in this world not of it you know we love mama gaia we love her elements minerals uh, everything that we're made of but we are not we are in it not of it and we are light being spiritual and when that core hits you and you know that through a grid space or even just some chats and you you, you it resonates with you and a feeling and your family's out there um it's it, it it makes your day just you you go on with smiles all day and i i try to um one part i want to talk about is now that i graduated my course i don't have your book here i loaned it out we'll figure it out. i i have a makeshift one that's i know who i loaned it to I, I went a few times and they still haven't they're not done with it right but and i even lost my my, my bag is misplaced for my cards. Like it's a, it's a doing, it's a part of life. You, you, you know, your crystals, your tools, you're going into prayer and going into your grid space. So try and make it a part of your life, people. And I, so I'm, I, I just want to say talking to you today, because I hope this is going to go on YouTube and or other places. And I finally got to talk to my uh, lovely pod leader, Holly last night. And we do chat a lot on discord and chat on you know direct messaging on on that and other platforms but to, to physically talk and just jive like we are now and to connect and know you're on a different level mm -hmm. when you're other out there in, in in our 3d world and people are just angry mad po'd and taking an event and they're like whoa my friend what's what's wrong you know like it's not that bad the white men in the white cones are coming to get you it's not, everybody's feeling it it's it's all good you're right everyone is feeling and and you know when they're feeling this is going back to what we were talking about earlier to really take away from this space please all who are seeing this when they're feeling and gregory just said they're mad or they're angry or they're frustrated or they're scared or they're whatever they are right maybe they're happy we see happy people too right? Have, we I, see oh, kind people happy people balanced people but every single feeling that's being felt when it is most identified with and gripped it is amplified yes 
So be mindful of what you feel and then know that your awareness gives you, your observation gives you the opportunity to say, I can filter that feeling or I can become it. Oh boy, isn't that it a big It doesn't one? hurt to come in at that Just higher vantage point. Come in at that higher vantage point. That's what you teach always. Come up up here. You can see better. Yes, be that filtration mm -hmm. space. Just let mm -hmm. it be what it is, but be who you are. Maintain. I had to say to myself, like, I guess it was probably, yes, uh, for anyone who's seeing this right away when this is filmed, I think today is the 17th. Am I right? Is today the 17th? 18th. 17th. Okay, thank you, Gregory. 18th. But I believe maybe Sunday, so just a few days ago, this is Thursday. Um, yes. I had to say to myself what I teach my students, which is good. I should say what I preach, right? But I said to myself, who are you? Who are you to me? I said it. I said, who am I? And I had to remind myself because the outer was getting so big with all of the dense energies, all of the anger, but that's all the purge of the old because we're doing what I mentioned earlier. We're going through these shift spaces to the new vibrational space of ourselves as this higher human, this higher consciousness, the divine more present in its now. Yes, that's God more present in the now, the Holy Spirit more present in the now, great spirit, Native American culture more present in the now. Uh, whatever the wording is, that's man's way of trying to describe the divine yes so we're talking about the divine in all of its ways more present in its now through us as us yes and so as we're going through these spaces the old is purging you don't just walk away you understand what you're walking away from that's how you get to solidify what alignment you are and so experiential spaces yes they are uh, just that to allow us that opportunity to solidify who we will be. So I say, who am I? Who am I? Oh, yes, I'm a higher dimensional being of light here to assist humanity. <laughs> I'm eternal. You're eternal. Everyone seeing this, you're eternal. You're having a now. You pick the now that is extremely important. You're a filtration system. You're an emissary of light. Uh, you're an intercessor of light. So, but Gregory, you also touched on something very important that we should mention. And so we have the grid, it's helpful, absolutely gives a full reset to the being and then also allows space for that being all those that are part of this space to uh, implement that love and amplify it for humanity. We've been doing it since 2020. Very interesting. This happened to begin in 2020. Uh, we have the pods of light, leaders of light. They give a beautiful energy session once a month to assist with the body's processing and the mind's processing of this shift. And then the discord chats that offer connection and community. And I'd love to touch on, yes, 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 all the, like some tools, some helpful hints, some spaces. So there's a lot of people coming in, they're saying with this dreams and visions, like you talked about here, right? Where they're seeing something and it's, it's dense, it's dark, it doesn't feel good what they're seeing, right? Some are seeing destruction, some are seeing, you know, um, natural disasters, some are seeing themselves in a bad way or, you know, a difficult situation. And so one thing that I find helps me, and I'd love to hear what helps you if you have something to share with them as well. But for me, I write it down. And some people will say, well, why would you want to write it? It feels like you're actually then, you know, giving it uh, like some kind of power or something because you're making it more real because you're putting it in writing. But I'm also in my mind and in my intention, I'm, I'm allowing myself to then look at it from another vantage point because I saw it from a way of maybe connection of being it more, being in it more, witnessing it more. But when I write it and read it back over, it's more separated from me. Does that make sense in itself that it's more separated when I write it? And also when I write it, I feel as if I gain more clarity of the distance there is from it and me, and I'm an observer. And again, I'm a filtration system. So when you're having a vision, if you're having a vision, and maybe multiple ones as this continues to uptick and unfold, it doesn't mean you're seeing the future. It can. I'm not saying it can't. That's a definite possibility for prophecy. 
but it can also mean you're seeing a future we will no longer see because you're seeing a collapsing timeline. That is something we don't talk about a lot in the prophetic spaces. And so a lot of people think if they see it, it's going to happen. But you also could be seeing what was going to happen before we shifted. Does that make are we sense? Going down rabbit holes today? <laughs> are we going to go down that rabbit hole? How much time have we got? Let's go. <laughs> so does that make sense though, Gregory? That it understanding of sense. Oh yeah. Okay. So you could have even been seeing a space of yourself. Yes. Uh, that you might have been had you not continued to choose your wholeness. I love the fact that, you know, and me and Holly touched on this a little bit and you, you do walk backs mm -hmm. and that it's, it, it hits me kind of like that in a sense of been there, done that, but now mm -hmm. that time, and it, it's a different way to look at letting things go. Cause oh, we don't like actually that, things, but you are, you greeted it. You've been there. And, and I'll tell you, now it's time for action, not words. I'll go back to the little Def Leppard, but a little, it's action. It's time for action, people. You don't just sit back, but like what I do, and not even tough times, but it's reflect. You know, use the tools that are presented in front of you. You lay so much stuff at people's feet, at your family's feet. And what we do with it's our own choice. You know, there's our free will coming in, you know, timeline, you know, you, you, you're creating your own timeline. You're, you're adjusting your own timeline. So know that and come in at that higher vantage point. Sometimes you do get wild, but you're always smiling. And that's where, you know, but I, I reflect, you know, it's funny you start talking about crystals and I have my uh, Apache tears right here today. And it's just so, meaningful and the synchronicities are always there they're, they're there you know the miracles are every day and you just gotta find them but reflecting on prayer and uh, wow that just happened to me and now i just want to reflect on it and not just prayer but i'll make my own prayer as i go and reflection and prayer a little different but i reflect on my prayers now because what am i actually saying what am i actually asking for who am who i are asking? you talking to yeah. who am i talking to in the first place well, you think that one. Oh, who are we talking to? I think we're talking to the divine, to God, to the Holy Spirit, to Christ consciousness, to the angelics, to our light teams, to all the spaces the divine is within and ourselves in a sense. Yes, our now version and every space we are yet to be. We're talking to it all because in my knowing, it is all one space that has these different spaces of itself, you know? So are you raising your hand to speak? I am because <laughs> I, first thing, the only thing I want to talk about today, new human. And now I keep thinking now human. Okay. Cause it's now I, I'm been act at right now. It's right now. It's not going to change. It's not going to, there's no future. There's no past and nothing to look at. So make yeah, it now. Now it's just, now. we are new. We are new. Yes. Yes, look at it. Like, we need to do new and now. And you can change physically. You can change. It's not that important. But if I, I'll tell you, when it hits you like that, and I'm doing some research now, and I have some time, but you just wrap it all in. And, and the Cosmo does that so well. And I'm glad that you brought up prayer this morning in one of your videos. And it's mm -hmm. it's a good it's a it's a good tool. It's know? very important, and I turned to it heavily this weekend. So uh, it was a space that I just naturally went right back into. And I have a very strong uh, religious foundation from my past, from my upbringing. Um, so I'm very familiar with the space of prayer, but for um, a really big space, probably maybe five or seven years or more, um, maybe even 10 years, I was adjusting my understanding of prayer because I was acknowledging in my own personal being, everybody can have their own way of acknowledgement and thought process and, you know, your belief structure. Absolutely. You should have your own. But in mine, prayer had, I could see where prayer had become almost like, and I, please don't be offended. Please don't be offended. Don't be mean to me. If you are offended, just breathe through it. Have a loving thought, please. It can be become like a, a, a cop out or a crutch because you just give everything over to some other power and 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 they and they're going to make it all better and i believe that can happen yes. but i believe we have to also be present we like you said take action we have to be responsible for our own own being it, own it yes we have to be owning our own experiential spaces 
in alignment with the understanding of that divinity that is in divine connection with us at all times. So there was this space that I was moving through to understand the, because what was happening was my understanding and processing of prayer was expanding. So I wasn't getting rid of it. I was opening it up because I was opening up. My consciousness was expanding. So my everything has to expand as you expand. You don't get to, you know, smush one part of yourself into a box and then say, now I'm going to go ahead and open my mind. All the spaces of us do it. And, and sometimes one takes a little longer than another, right? The way we have relationships, uh, the way we think about medicine, the way we think about science, the way we think about history. That's a big yes. one. Yes, the earth the itself. Yes. <laughs> so all of these things, they get the opportunity to expand because we are. And so prayer was one of them for me. So that last video I just shared this morning, I think it was, um, that was, I actually prayed in the video and I offered that prayer to anybody oh. who wanted to connect with it. And I did a shorter prayer as well for just those moments where things feel big because I just, you talked about Holly, you know, beautiful Holly. Uh, leader of light for an, a Cosma eternal light within pod. And, um, you know, Holly it lives in a certain part of the country that's experiencing some turmoil right now. And uh, it, it, it's not something that she's used to. And it, 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 you know, it was a lot for her to process. And she was reaching out. She's like, I know I'm safe. I know I'm loved, but I want to hear from you, you know, some support here and guidance here, uh, because that's what we are. That's what you were saying earlier. You can be inside all of this that's happening. You know, the world, you're, you're experiencing it. You're, it. you're not of it, but you are able to see it, right? You're able to register it you know it's happening you have awareness you have logical mind and at this and you can feel the energy uh but at the same time you can come into the acosma family of light and you can get into the discord chat you can get into a dm with somebody and you can have that connection point with somebody who is having this vantage point that's choosing to have this vantage point and so holly was doing that with me she was writing and reaching out for a vantage point of connection and you know that 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 understanding of being able to come in here is is really important and i also shared with her um the prayer aspect and i said i just made a video this morning that if you feel fear because it's, it's not wrong to feel it it's normal <laughs> it's real you know it's it's an energy that's flowing through strange. our collective a lot of it's strange. and so if you feel this these feelings though remember what we talked about in the beginning of the call you can either attach to them and become them, or you can filter them through the peace that passes all understanding. And it's not always easy, but it's getting easier because every time we do it, we learn who we are at a deeper level. We learn the tools we have in our hands, whether it's crystals, whether it's um, the group itself, whether it's the family of light, whether it's prayer, um, meditation, the knowing of who you are, but all those spaces allow us the opportunity to filter, yes, love to whatever it is we're feeling. So, you know, and Holly's processing that way, that right now in her specific space. And all these spaces are all part of that one collective that is doing this ascension process. It's leaving the old, becoming the new, and figuring out it's now. Like you said, the now human. And it's doing what's right. You know, it's going against your grain. This is the, the, the balls to the wall. Like, I always thought this way. No. And, and you're changing for the good. You're going to see that it's happening for a reason. And you're going to put yeah. this in a perspective okay. that you place this here for yourself, this situation. It might be a five-minute situation or it might be a 10-year, 20-year situation or a now moment of if you're thinking in terms of a job if you have or a relationship or just a funk but we designed it we aligned it for a purpose and it is to align ourselves and i'm asking my prayer every day you know and you taught it just allow i am listening that's a great prayer i am i am grateful that's it it's a good prayer no, it's you right. know it's and, an alignment you're setting an alignment you're setting an alignment. The minute you say it, that's the vibrational flow that you're, you're, you're directing your being to connect with. Yeah. Yes. And you're broadcasting that. That's another thing is that we're all broadcasting energy. And I don't look at it as, I like the analogy of, you know, you're cleaning out your mansions in, 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 your, in your father's kingdom, you know, and 
but when you look at it in each closet or each room is in, in, is a heart and, soul and mind of, of other people and you're not there to just clean it out and get rid of it you're there to take nurture it set them on the right course move on it's a challenge it's something an obstacle in your way i'm going to clean this up and go there's many man it's endless rooms infinite but when you greet it and and synchronicities happen they get cleaned up with help and with 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 love and light and when you realize that it's it's fun yeah, well, that's that. I love that, Gregory. Thank you for bringing that in. Two points to to add in there for everyone to amplify the thought process on. One, it's not our responsibility to change anybody else but ourselves. Yes. And two, by changing ourselves, just the example of how we live offers that opportunity to anybody else who comes in contact with us. Does that make sense to you? Um, and I feel like a really big space of this as well is when you said allow. Yeah. Allowing with that trust. That's how you can allow because you trust, because I trust that we designed it, that everything's unfolding just as it needs to. Does that mean we don't still prepare and make good choices and be wise and, you know, think before we do certain things or whatever we would we should i i humbly lay at everyone's feet that they take into consideration to listen to their intuition listen to your inner knowing and whatever way you're bringing yourself guidance like if you think i don't know if i should go to that event or i don't know if i should whatever or i think i maybe should blah 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 so then listen Listen to your inner knowing, listen to your intuition, pay attention to the messages you're bringing yourself because they've upticked as well. And what we're designing is divine, even in the spaces that look ugly. And there are spaces that look ugly. But those spaces, I believe, in one sense, are, yes, yes, the older energies being given the opportunity to shift because of that space we're doing as the ascension process and some things we won't ever see again that's another thing when you end times i said like, think about those words the end times that means certain times certain things you did certain ways of being certain experiential spaces of your individual being in life and of the collective so the way we've always thought about things or done things as a whole as well, certain things are ending and certain things are beginning. And you know, that's even a scripture as well. And, the, and, and it's referenced the end times. I think it's in the book of Revelations and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And so and, and I like that idea too. Think about this with me for a minute. Yes, in the very beginning of the Bible, you have the formation of the earth, right? Genesis. And then in the very end of the Bible, you have the declaration of a new earth. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like right now we're just being given the opportunity of some joy. I feel like everybody's been in a space lately. If, and even if you're seeing this video and it's five years old, it somehow this applies to you as well. Okay. We're being given right now in this moment, the opportunity to feel and remember joy. Can you do that with me, Gregory? I would love to. Okay, let's hold this space for everyone who's watching this, no matter what you're walking through right now, whether it's beautiful or whether it's daunting, it doesn't or somewhere in between. <laughs> yes, this is the opportunity for some joy. Yes, for some peace, for some love. So Gregory and I, we do a cosmic quantum energy. It's a beautiful energetic healing modality and ascension modality here to assist humanity through this very space of itself. It's us in the future, helping us in the now. So let's well said, just- Murph. <laughs> I, I had it. it. I got it, I got it. It wouldn't be the same without it, Gregory. Thank you, thank you. So just allow your breath 
just allow your breath and just allow the space. The energy is moving right now. We're anchoring this space together, all of us. <laughs> Beautifully done. I can feel you doing it. Yes. 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 You're opening up your energy centers, your body, your being. You're opening yourself up to more joy. Yes. You're bringing that in to your now and whatever your now is. Just allow your breath. Yes. Just allow the space. Yes. Yes. Yes, your team of light is all around you. The divine, God, great spirit, the Holy Spirit, Christ. Yes. Yes, the origination point. Completely connected with you now always has been, always will be. There's no separating you from this love. There can be the illusion of the separation, but there is no truth to that space. The truth is you are one with this love. You are one with this joy. You are one with this peace. No matter what the reflection is showing you, you are one, yes, yes, with this love. <laughs> Yes, just allow your breath. Ya pokoya. Nyane ya kawa. Taboya kiniana tawa. Yes, just allow your breath. Yes. Beautifully done. Beautifully anchored. Just allow that breath, that peace, that joy that love and you remind yourself of it as you navigate this extension process, this space of you, these experiential, yes, unfoldings. You remind yourself who you are when you need to, as you need to. You breathe into that space. As Gregory shared and I shared, you just remember that and you speak that I am grateful. I am one with the divine. Can you say that now in your being, Holy One? <laughs> I am grateful. I am one <laughs> with the divine. Yes, allow your breath. Yes, some of you want to keep repeating it. Do it. I am grateful. I am one. Yes, with the divine. You are never separate. You are in within the arms of that love. You are in within the protection of that love. You are within the guidance of that love. And you are within the remembrance. Yes, of that love. <laughs> Just allow your breath. There's a lot of energy moving through the head, the crown, the third eye. Some of you, your throats are opening. This is helping with change. This is helping with the authenticity of the self that is anchoring into the now. Just breathe, please. Beautiful anchoring going on. Just breathe. Your right leg is opening up its flow. Yes. Your root lines are running deeper than they've ever run. Some of you, these are brand new connection points you're making. You're grounding in to the new earth. <gasps> yes, some of you are experiencing really big activations. Just allow it. Some of you are crying. Just allow it. You are activating you. I am a bridge. Gregory is a bridge. You are activating you. We are holding the alignment of that love. You are choosing it. Breathe. Yes, just allow. Yes, yes. Breathe. Some of you are releasing some really old spaces, some addictions, some behavior traits. You are no longer those alignments. You're releasing them and alchemizing those spaces of yourself and realigning yourself in this remembrance. Just allow. Trust yourself, Holy One. 
Trust yourself and that self is within the divine. Breathe. We just allow the space. Just allow the space. We're going to seal this together. All of us. All of us are going to seal this now. I need you to seal this now. Gregory will seal this now. I will seal this now. We are all doing this. Seal it in love. Seal it in the highest alignment of light. Just intend it, speak it, whisper it, think it, feel it, envision it. I seal this in love. Yes. 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 Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Feel to you can put your hands in prayer position for just a moment and just allow yourself a slight bow forward and then just return upright when you're ready. Why? We are acknowledging the divinity within ourselves and the divinity within all. Definitely. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Gregory, for holding that space for us and with Thank us. Thank you, Tabu. Thank you. Thank you. Divine. Well, this has been amazing. I have been so blessed to be in this space with you. Thank you for agreeing to come back. I think we have a couple, one or two other videos we've done together, Gregory, if I'm not mistaken. And um, everybody loves when you come on here. They love it so much. Well, they you know, love your videos. You're just the the folks that resonate with me are resonating beyond me with you and i'm happy like when i report my books are gone and my cars are in a plastic bag so they don't get wet when i loan them out because people are feeling energy and they are noticing it's not just me and they're handing it to themselves i don't know if it's is it through the book no it's all within you you know and people it's, it's a slow process like i want i was saying earlier when I, you when you you're so pumped up when I graduated our a cosmic a foundations course and you're gung ho but the ride's just beginning and it's still going and it's and it's never ending and mm -hmm. it comes in increments in layers and you take it as it comes and it unfolds the vine and it's when when you understand that and, and you make it easier for for mm -hmm. for folks to do that and the platforms are great Discord is wonderful that has been. The DMs, the, the download messaging has been acting up a little bit. And I noticed that with MJ, not MJ, I talked with Ali a lot and, and Holly, and we both had issues. And Holly was just having issues with Instagram, actually, which was not even beyond it. Because I'm trying to get with her about coming to Sedona. And I think we're, I think we're up for, 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 for being sidekicks on that trip. So. Oh, that, that would be fantastic. I, I love we, it. Uh, I yeah. think we sealed that one last night. Oh, I hope but so. I didn't I get it officially, so. as I said, yeah. by the end of this week. Because if not, I, I said we're gonna we're, we're gonna make it special, and it no. already is special. But no. the, the, at least the trip getting there. So no, I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the space. And Gregory's talking about Sedona. We do Sedona every year. This will be this will be year five. So five is the number of change, right? And uh, expand expansive change. And so we're going to be doing some really powerful work in um, and on Bell Rock, which I'm really looking forward to. I know it has uh, really deep connections for the ancestral lines of humanity and uh, really big alignments, but I'm so grateful you're going to be there, Gregory. And um, we'll maybe we'll try to do a recording while we're there. Uh, so we could have something to share with our beautiful family of light that will maybe not be able to make the live event, but would really like to connect with us when we're there. So uh, let's think about that, Gregory. Let's put that into uh, intention that we can create some content while we're there to share with the world, our beautiful Acosma family of light and all our pods of light and all the ways we connect. So, all right, Gregory, I love this space. We're going to do it again, I hope. Uh, I hope we'll make it is. many more thank of these. You, thank you. Thank you. All right, Aunt Tambulu, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you again for having me. Oh, thank you, Holy One. And thank you all for being a part of this space with us. 
Uh, we're grateful to walk with you. Thank you for trusting yourselves. Thank you for listening with your hearts. Thank you for leaning in. Yes. And allowing you 